everyone. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Susan. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Sandra. Oh, my cable's in the way. That's not comfortable at all. Hello, Gina. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Sarah. Hello, Helen. Hi, Carol. I can't get comfortable. I can't make my mind up where I, where I want to sit. I can't get comfortable. I'm going to keep fidgeting, sorry. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, Floriana. Hi, Carol. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Mandy. How are you? Good evening. No, it's good afternoon, Tracy. It's good afternoon. Hi, Anne. Hello everybody. Hello there. Hi Shelley. How is everybody? Yay. Hello Serena. <laughs> Have you moved away from the tally Serena? Hello Sue. How are you? Hi Roz. I feel a bit lopsided. Hang on a minute. That's it. Hi Chris. I'm going to, I'm fidgety today. I'm really fidgety today. I can't help myself. I'm really fidgety. Don't know what's up with me. I'm going to, I'm going to keep messing. Hi, Mimi. Hello there. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Sue. Hi, Chris. Hi, Jane. I'll stop fidgeting in a minute. I can't stop fidgeting. I've got my fidgety head on. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Christine. It is a beautiful day, not that I've seen any of it. I'm doing video, well, I'm prepping samples for her chanda, so I've not had a chance to go outside. Hi Sue, how are you? Hi Fraser, hi Jane. Hello Sue, there's lots of Sues. Hello Francoise. Salut, salut Francoise. Hello Christelle. Hello Rainer. Good morning, Laura. How are you? 9am in Alberta, Canada. 9am. That's what I love about technology. You can speak to everybody all around the world. Hello, Piggy Sue. How are you? How are you, Lucy? I'm giving a few moments to everybody to join because sometimes you have to go back out and come back in again. It's a bit of a pain. <laughs> you have, have you, Serena? I must admit, I watched a bit and then I'm, I'm, I've got samples to prep, so I was running up and down the stairs. Hello, Sue. There's lots of Sues. Hello, Karen. You've got Ant in your... I have, Shelley. I've got Ant in my pants. I can't sit still. I don't know what's up with me. As soon as I sat down, I, I was fidgety. I couldn't, I couldn't get comfortable. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Louise. So, yes, I, I don't feel comfortable at all. My cable's in the way. It's driving me mad. Hi Shirley, hi Stephanie. You made it to the live, Stephanie. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for you, Stephanie. <laughs> Hello, Linda. Hello, Alison. I'm very well, thank you. Are you? I'm a bit brain dead, but I'm all right apart from that. I've now li literally lost any minute trace of brain cells I had left. I've got none left. I'm very well, Debbie. Are you? Hello Mia, how are you? It is lovely to see everybody, isn't it Chris? It's so nice having our little chats. <laughs> Not that I've done much today. All I've done is make a mess trying to make samples. Do you ever do that? You make samples and everything you make, you just make bits, you don't make anything. So I'm at that stage. Uh, hang on, Serena has some news for us. Can I guess, can I guess Serena? Have you finished your tidying of your craft room? Your organising? Having a break... Oh, oh, do you know I can't read? Having a break as network to work has gone down again. Networks are a bit unpredictable at the minute, Sue. My husband's got the same problem. Yay, Chris. It's a pain, isn't it, Chris? You have to go I had to go back out and back in four times just to get myself. So it's a bit weird. Not late for a change, Beverly. <laughs> and guess what, Beverly? I've done nothing yet. <laughs> just for a change. I've just waffled just for a change. <laughs> Hi, Hazel. So, yes, all I've done is make bits, but created nothing, if that makes sense. Oh, good. I'm glad you're well, Debbie. Hello, Anne. Hello there. Hi, Maria. 
So yes, I've just created lots of bits, lots of mess and trashed the place really and I've achieved nothing. I'm supposed to be making samples. Just watch abs. I'm having an all and create afternoon. Are you Patricia? You just watched abs do his, yes, that's what I've got to do. Prep some videos and ask me how I'm going to prep videos and not waffle while I'm doing it at the same time. So that'll be interesting. I've got to have my professional head on and not waffle. Hello, Minnie. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Stephanie. Definitely a good thing. Looking forward to it. Night off from cooking for me. Oh, it's, an, it's always a night off from cooking for me, Stephanie. <laughs> I don't cook. At Morrison's, they are doing a thank you for the, the NHS staff. 10% 10 10 off shopping for NH staff with their ID. Oh, that's brilliant. Is that from this Thursday then, Serena? Oh, that's good. Hi, Ginny. Just got back from taking the dog for a walk. I've been sewing quite a lot. I can't sew for toffee, Ginny. I'm useless. Hello, Chantal. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thanks for sharing. Come on, Serena, what is it? She's just, Serena's just announced there's 10% off for NHS workers in the supermarket at Morrison's. Our internet is playing up, but I think it's due to everyone on. It's so difficult to know when to come live now. Because there are so many of us doing lives, it's difficult to know when to predict is a good time. It really is difficult. Hello, Kim, how are you? I'm early for the waffling then. You are early for the waffling, Beverly. <laughs> I'm just moaning because all I've done, Beverly, is make bits. I haven't physically made anything. I've been useless today and every ounce of brain cell that I had left is gone. I just can't think straight. Sue does that most days. <laughs> been making the mids work online. Hang on, the mids. I've made it. Been making, been marking the mids work online. Do you like how thick I am? What's the mids work? Is that mid term or? Hi, Linda. Hi, Lee. Oh, Lee, there is a challenge. What? There is a challenge for you, Tracy. What's the challenge? I've even forgotten that already. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Hi, Katie. How are you all? Love these sessions and look forward to them. Oh, thank you, Linda. Hey, Kim. Hi, Anne. Oh, I've got, I've got too much saliva in my mouth. Do you think that's too much talking? Hi, Alex. Hi, Jackie. Hello, Karen. How are you? Hi Sue, hello everybody. Well, I think we've got quite a few online now. So I've got another little project for you to try. Hello Elaine, hello Jennifer. So I'm going to be using, do you know, instantly, it's in front of me here. I'm doing nothing today. Got my hubby making tomato and lentil soup for me and chicken enchiladas for himself and my daughter. Wow, Alison, that sounds delicious. Absolutely delicious. Hi, Fiona. How are you? Hi, Kim. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Sarah John. Hello, Lynn. Oh, Lynn. Thank you for sharing. Hello, Dot. How are you? Hi, Tina. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use this stamp set because I can't stop using it. Hi, Heidi. How are you? I can't stop using this stamp set, so I'm using this. I just love it. I can't stop using it. So I'm using this one today. So... I had to play around. Hello, Sue. How are you? Hope you're feeling a little bit better, Sue. Hi, Fee. Hi, Susan. There are so many Sues and Susans. I can't remember who I've said hi to and not now. Hi, Louise. There's loads of Sues. Hi, Anne. So what we're going to create are... We're going to create these backgrounds and this stamp and we're going to create cards with them. So we're going to create these and these are done with alcohol inks. Oh, thank you for sharing, Sue. You're so good. Hello, Kim. How are you? Hello, Borkia. How are you? I bet you I've pronounced that wrong, but I did try. I can't... Uh, my pronunciation is the world's worst. Hi, Zoe. How are you? Hello, Christelle. Thank you, Ginny. Thank you very much. So we're going to create these backgrounds and we're creating them with alcohol inks. Hi, Val. I love saying me hellos. I haven't got my lids on properly, so I hadn't better tip them up first before we, we start showing you the colours. So these are the colours that I'm using of my alcohol inks. I, I love this set, Dot. I can't stop using it. I'm terrible. I keep using it all the time. Just chilling, watching you before I head off to work tonight. Oh, Fiona, where are you working? Are you in NHS? I can't remember. 
I think you said you were NHS, aren't you, Fiona? So I hope, you, I hope your evening goes okay. Hello, Ollie. Holly. Hi, Roz. Thank you for sharing. What time will it be ready? We will be we'll be around for tea. Exactly, Sue. Let's go around for tea. <laughs> Hi, Mia. So I'm using these three colours. I'm using Aquamarine, Purple Twilight and Limeade. So we're using... Do I need Yupo? No, Chantel. And that's why I like it. Because I have to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of the shiny, shiny alcohol ink backgrounds. But that's just a personal thing. I'm not a big fan of the very shiny kind of things. I do do them now and then, but it's not my favourite thing. So I like to use alcohol inks on different surfaces if I can. So we've used alcohol ink on white card and watercolour card. So I thought we'd make a change. Stop. <laughs> Mandy's telling me off. <laughs> Sorry, Mandy, I like saying hello. <laughs> I like saying hello to everybody. It's nice. Hey up, Carolyn. It's part of it for me, saying hello to everybody. I thought you were a nurse, Fiona, so I hope it goes okay. Um, you could use your alcohol markers if you want. Um, but obviously I'm using alcohol inks for this technique because that's what I've got in my um, stash. And I like to use the alcohol inks in different ways as well. So I wanted to use them. What's the difference between the two lots of dots stencils? I have the small one. So the lots of dots one is a smaller stencil. Let me see if I can get it. Um... Let me just see if I've got one at hand. Just bear with me a second. Whoops. Just bear with me, Sue. Sue Dilg is just asking what the difference is between the stencils. Just bear with me a second. An angel. Exactly, Chris. Not just a nurse. Exactly. So this is the difference, Sue, between the two stencils. That's lots of dots. That's totally dotty. So that's the difference. This is a huge stencil. This is a smaller one, so you know that. Oh, hello, Mia. Thank you for joining us for the first time. Thank you. Hello, Shabnies. So, yes, yeah, so there's the difference, Sue. Just so you can see, those are tiny circles in comparison. So I hope you can see the difference there. Can you repeat the colours, please, Gina says. Of course I can, Gina. The colours are... Aquamarine, Purple Twilight and Limeade. If you mean the Pentart Media Ink, they're alcohol based too as well. So do any of your alcohol inks, yeah. Haven't got alcohol ink or crayons. But that's what I'm using today. I'm using the alcohol inks in a different way. Because I just want, I fancied doing the alcohol inks in a different way. Because I didn't want to use them on Yupo paper. I wanted to use them in a different way. And also, hello Shabnese, Rita... Uh, asked me if I would have a go with some alcohol inks. So I'm having a go with some alcohol inks just in a different way. So what we've got here is I've got white card. I'm actually using the back of Centura Pearl card. You can also use watercolour card as well. Hello, Carrie. Hi, Susan. So you can also use watercolour card as well. Say ha that. Say ha. Sorry, Pauline, I've missed that. So I'm using the white card and I'm using four and a half inches by six and a half inches. Yupo paper is a little bit more expensive, but obviously it gives you excellent movement with the alcohol inks. This is a totally different, thanks for sharing, Chantal. This is a totally different look that I like. Sorry, I like to say hello to everybody. I know somebody's just mentioned, stop saying hello and get on with it. But I like saying hello to everybody because that's part of the lives for me. Um, there are two sizes and a reverse lots of dots stamp. That's right, Gina, yes. Two sizes of stencils and a reverse dot, lots of dots stencil. That's correct. Uh, lo, uh, stamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stamp. So just move this out of the way. Just remember when you're working with alcohol inks to work in an, a ventilated room. So open your windows when you're using um, alcohol inks. So thank you for sharing. Hi, Belinda. Hello there. Welcome. Oh, Pauline, thanks a lot. <laughs> you're very welcome. Hi, Isabel. 
so I'm just inking my stamp up with a Versamark stamp pad and as you can see mine is very well used so I'm inking it up with a Versamark and as with everything that I do I make sure that it's a good inking so I'm giving that a good inking I was shopping and saw both oh what did you see you I can see Piggy Sue's replying to Thank you, I was shopping and saw both. My eyes are still half shut. Oh dear Belinda, you're still tired. It's it's quite early where you are, isn't it? So I'm just giving that a good ink, like I would with any ink. I haven't received my stamp yet from a chander and wonder if anybody could remember if there was a delay. No, it must be the post, Chris. There's a, the only delay is with the postal service, which unfortunately is due to the circumstances, but not that I know of, no. So I'm just going to ink this stamp like so. Just place the stamp on the background. So all I've used is a clear sticky ink pad. It's 10 here, went to bed at four. Yes, I went to bed late, I must admit. It's no wonder you're tired, Belinda. Hi, Linda. So I was told that one of mine was delayed, should be shipped this week. Oh, right, so I don't know, I don't know anything about any delays. But I've ju again, I'm lifting my acrylic block just so that I can make sure I get this central area again. Even with a sticky ink pad, I still do the same as I do whether I'm using a sticky ink pad or whether I'm using a black ink pad. I do exactly the same. Royal Mail were late collecting from her chandy. Oh dear. Uh, but to be honest, to be fair to Royal Mail, they've got a shortage of staff because of the circumstances, so they can't do as much as they normally do, to be fair. And it's the circumstances that we're in, really. No, I'm not using you, Po Isabel. I'm using white card. I'm using white card. What The back of Centura Pearl, or you can use watercolour card. So I've also used Aquafine watercolour paper as well. So anything like that. Yeah, I, I, I found media inks are runnier. Yeah, I, I like these alcohol inks, I must admit. So what you're going to do, now this is alcohol resist that we're doing. So you're going to sprinkle your image with white embossing powder. Now, when you have a go at this at home, Try with some different colour embossing powders. So try with silver embossing powder or gold embossing powder and you'll get a different look. Oh, hello there. Welcome from Germany, Gabby. Hello there. Welcome. So, yes, try with different colour embossing powders just so that you can see the different looks that you can get. Not received mine yet as well. Had email to say dispatched. Yes, so... I mean, if you've got any queries, that obviously it's her chandy you need to speak to. Hi, Tom. I must have missed Tom. Hi, Becky. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I'm using white, the back of Centura white card. I am not using Yupo. Can you use clear? Yes, you can use clear, Sarah. No problem at all. You can use any embossing powder. So use, it's no problem, Jane, any embossing powder you want. If you use a metallic silver or a metallic gold, you'll get a totally different look. And also, if you use the mixatives, you know, the gold and the silver and the pearl, use them sparingly, but they do look good. Been queuing at the chemist. Yes, I had to do that as well, Leslie Q. So if you're using the mixatives, then use them sparingly, but they look fabulous. So all I'm doing is I'm embossing. So I'm embossing my flower with white embossing powder. But experiment with any of your old embossing powders that you're not using. So if you've got some embossing powders in the cupboard, experiment with them. Because you'll get a whole different look if you experiment with them. Hello, Joe. Hi, Jane. So yes, experiment. So we're just giving that... Just hitting that white embossing powder up, like so. Moving my card around, because obviously if you heat the embossing powder too much, it will then go back to being flat again. So I'm making sure I move my card around 
so that so that I'm not heating the same area over and over again. I'm making sure that I get every area. You might not see this on camera. Just a little bit more to heat. Hello Anita. No, I'm not frozen, I'm still going. Hello there, hi Susan. So I think that's all of it now. Just make sure I get all those little bits there. There you go. Got a drawer full of embossing powders. We'll have to get them out and play. Yes, Susan. So if you've got any old embossing powders that you're not using, then trying to get you back, Tracy. I am I'm, I haven't left. So as you can see, it's just a normal white embossing. So use any of your embossing powders and experiment you know with your silver embossing powder your gold embossing powder any of your embossing powders experiment and then you want one of your blending to you know the felts that you use with alcohol inks you want your felts that you use with alcohol inks and i've got my three colors please make sure you work in a ventilated room so open your window when you're using alcohol inks so i've got three colors of alcohol inks and I'm going to apply those all, you have a cuppy. <laughs> wow, so many crafters from overseas. I know Val, it's amazing, isn't it? So what I'm going to do, hopefully you can see this. I'm going, now, when you're using white card and you're using um, watercolor card, obviously you will use more alcohol ink. You'll use more alcohol ink because the card is more absorbent. It's not like Yupo. This, this, uh, the, the ink sucks into the card, whereas the Yupo, it, it's sort of got a shiny surface, so it's completely different. So you will use more alcohol ink with this technique. So place your three colours onto your tool, like so. So I've got three colours on there. Hi Dawn. So I'm not left at Lee. It must have been something your end. So I've got these three colours, and what I'm going to do is swipe across the card like so and the alcohol ink soon dries okay so yeah i like to do something different sue with the alcohol inks it doesn't matter that you're late susan hi tracy sorry here missed a few catching up no problem dawn so as you can see the alcohol inks that one i've just applied the one layer of color at the alcohol inks and can you see it's deeper here where I first started so, uh, so what you can do I got my order from all and create great service wonderful Lynn if you want you can go back over that I quite like that one as it is this one is slightly darker because I went over it three times that's why but I quite like that one look how fast that is so let me do another one with a stencil and do it with darker layers so you can see we'll, we'll make a card out of these as well because as you can see that works beautifully but what you can also do we're going to have to go over with it with the colors again just so i can show you something so take the green again take the blue and take the purple and just remember you're going to use more alcohol ink so you can add more colour look. You can keep adding more depth of colour to your, to your project. So you can keep adding more depth of colour. You don't have to keep it super light. So it's another technique with your alcohol inks, but it's using normal card. It's not using Yupo paper and it gives you a beautiful depth. But what you can do then is take another piece of felt use your blending solution and because because you've used embossing that embossing is glossy so because that embossing is glossy this blending solution will remove some of that ink look can you see it it resists so the white becomes brighter can you see that the white becomes brighter you don't need to put gesso on the paper first, Linda. There's no need. 
yeah i've tried the pink frog card that works as well can you see because you've embossed here the blending solution removes the color from the embossed area that's the blending solution it moves it it removes the color from the white areas how good is that so then what you can do because you've removed the color from the white areas if you want you can go back with the purple and you can add touches of purple to the white areas you can recolor you can recolor the white areas with the alcohol ink so you can add a touch more of a different color to the white areas does that make sense so it gives you a totally different look to alcohol inks totally different look and i just love how that looks and for me the reason that appeals more is because it's not shiny or glossy i've got no shiny or glossiness apart from the embossing so it looks fantastic no shininess just flat so if you don't have the blending solution then don't use it just keep it as it is just use it as it is and 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 don't use the blending solution but when you use the blending solution that takes away the alcohol ink from the embossed areas so let's try it with a stencil so i can show you again the white card let's just move these out the way so that we don't spill them but just remember to work in a ventilated area have your windows open so what we've got now is totally dotty stencil okay to prove you can do it with a stencil as well it's great isn't it? i love the look of it so take your stencil and apply the versamark ink over your stencil you should tape your stencils into place but guess what i can't be bothered to tape it into place that's me i'm a rebel so i'm just applying the versamark ink over the stencil so you could use any stencil so if you've got a stencil with fine detail the stencil with fine detail would look amazing so just apply your ink over the stencil like so just keep applying the ink over the stencil remove your stencil and you've then got the versamark ink so you can add your embossing let's just move that out the way add the embossing powder yes i, I love using alcohol inks but I'm, I'm not very keen on yupo but that's just me everybody likes different things the Yupo is just too shiny for me, but that's just a personal thing. So I'm just, so if I, I like using alcohol inks, but I like them when they're not quite so shiny. But that's just a personal. So I'm just moving that out the way. So we've now got those circles embossed in white. Just remove that. Heat it up again so we can heat it up. What time on a chander, please? Oh, has somebody mentioned something about a chander? I've got the blending solution, had it for years. Will it still be okay? Yes, it will, Margaret. It'll still be fine. No, me neither, Maria. I prefer the, I prefer that look than the shiny look. That's just a personal thing, but I prefer that look. But we all, we all like different things, don't we? Hello, Tom. So I'm just embossing these, this white just move this out the way because we don't want to emboss that again don't want to heat that again yes adapt some other styles mini yes it's great to adapt so i'm just heating these up so i've got an embossed background with the stencil so you could use your stencils and your stamps i i use aqua paper it's a watercolor paper but i just tested watercolor paper and normal white card and it works on both but obviously you have to remember you use more alcohol ink when you use this technique because the papers are more absorbent therefore you use more ink hello joanna welcome so just hitting this embossing like so sometimes it's difficult for the camera to pick the white up so we're just heating this up just to show that you can use stencils as well i have to move my card around because i can't tell in this light if it's embossing there we go we're getting it now 
just a few more areas to emboss there we go so now we've got a nice stenciling so let's try the technique with this with the stencil so take your tool again can you believe I've lost my tool where's my tool now there we go are you very well oh everybody's welcoming you Joanna it's lovely so again I'm going to apply the green so add a fair bit of the alcohol ink again add the blue alcohol ink oh brilliant you can see the white can you Isabel wonderful and then the purple and all I'm going to do is swipe over and it never gets boring and it gets lighter the further you go up the card like so okay so you can add more ink less ink whatever you want to do as you go up the card yes and i'm not i'm not using yupo i'm using white card i'm not using yupo i'm using white plain card or watercolor card i am not using yupo so what you can do then you can lighten it take your blending solution add that to another one it's great background isn't it bev i just love it apply your blending solution to your tool and then you can go over and lighten everything up like so i just love it just a totally different look looks cool doesn't it i just love how cool it looks i think they look fab so if you tr if you try that with silver embossing it does look a bit mystical doesn't it but if you because you've still got some of the alcohol still on there and you can even if you want you can use a cloth take your blending solution add it to the cloth and you can even remove more look you can even remove more from the circles is that showing up you can even remove more so take your blending solution and because that embossing is glossy you can remove the color from the circles can you see the difference in this in the two circles the circles where i've used the blending solution and the circles where i haven't and then also on my flower just love it silver would look fab yes it's whiter now isn't it because i've used the blending solution so you could use if you use silver you get a totally different look and if you use the mixatives to go over with the alcohol inks make sure you use the mixatives sparingly okay so what we'll do now is we'll create a card with our flower but i thought that was a fun technique a really fun technique it's lovely i just love how they look i just think it shows up and it makes the flower look lovely i just love it totally different look and i love where you get this stripey bit when you first start off as well and then it, it goes lighter <laughs> emma was <laughs> rearranging the lounge <laughs> i have a spritzer with alcohol ink not blending solution and you could spray that over the circles yes but just be careful when you are spraying alcohol not something i would recommend spraying alcohol you need to be careful when you're spraying alcohol so i'm going to create this card you see this one will have this flower on like so and this one is going to have a background on it so what i'm going to do is create a background for this card like so so we're going to use these flowers i've got two flowers like so if you can see and i've added different details to each flower just so that you can see the difference i've added details belinda was up late working on homework <laughs> so what the other thing that's good about these alcohol ink techniques hi sandra so, yes exactly spray gin flammable so the good thing about these alcohol inks is when you use these alcohol inks is 
you can get your pencil crayons, your normal polychromo pencils, and you can crayon over the top of the alcohol. So you can add more depth to the, to the flower with pencil crayons. You can actually add pencil crayon to the top, which I've had it here. So you can add pencil crayon to it. That's another advantage. You can add pencil crayon, which is what I've done here. So I'm going to create a background just so that I can create a background for my flower. I'm looking for my twisted citron. Why is the one ink pad that you want never just at hand? Twisted citron. Let's try another one. No idea where my twisted citron is. Hi, Pat. Hello, Pat. So I've got twisted citron that I'm going to add to the background. I want to create, I want to create a background for my flower. So I'm going to add some twisted citron to start with. And I'll just do parts of this background because I've already done one. So I'm going to mop up that ink with my card because we're creating a background for our flower. And as you know, I normally like to let these, I know it's probably on the floor somewhere, Belinda, but there's so much stuff everywhere. I've got no idea. I had, I did have it out. Oh, it's here. It's ahead. It's in front of me where my card is. So when I do this and I mop up the inks, I bet Abs looks, took your twist. Yes, Abs always nicks my greens. <laughs> not supposed to socialise with anyone outside of your household. No, you're not. So you're just going to mop up every bit of this ink, like so. Now I want to add touches of purple to that. Now, the, normally you'd spritz that and you'd allow that to dry naturally. But obviously I can't do that because we're live. So I'm going to dry this before I add the next colour. The reason I'm drying this is I don't want the purple to blend too much because I don't want the purple and green to blend together because it will make mud because purple and green might make brown. So I'm just drying it a little bit just so that we don't get that. So I'm creating this background for my flower, the flower that we created. So I'm just creating a background for it. So I'm using the same distress oxides that have got the same tones as the alcohol inks so that it all coordinates properly. So we're just adding some purple and you want it to dry so that you don't create mud. I love twisted citron. That is out of order. What's out of order? Oh, I've missed the conversation. Something's out of order. So I'm definitely adding the same colours that coordinate with the flower in the background. So I'm just adding that to my background. Like so. Yes, the flower is embossed in white first, Christine. I embossed the flower in white and I embossed the stencil in white embossing powder. But you can use any embossing powder so both these were embossed with white embossing powder but if you try it with silver or gold you'll be surprised what look you get but this is white embossing powder so yes you need to experiment with your with your embossing powders because you'll get a totally different look i'm now going to add a touch of the blue which is mermaid lagoon because we've got blue in the background of the flower so we need to make sure we've got those dual light colours in the background. And as you know, I normally wouldn't dry this. I would let this dry naturally. But that's obviously what you can't do when you're doing a live. Hi, Rizwana. Sparkling tea. New kind of tea somebody's got. So just dab. Normally you would let it dry naturally. So, um, you see, you've got the same jewel like colours in the background as you have in your flower. So that means it'll coordinate nicely. Just gives it a nice effect. So, just bend your card a little. And I'm going to add a little bit more colour. So I've got a bit of the purple on the outside edges. So I'm just going to add a bit of the purple on the outside edges, just so that... 
spritz again. Every time you use the oxides, if you spritz, then you get this oxidisation, which works quite well. It's a great effect, isn't it? I'll find a way to use glitter. Oh, we find a way to use glitter. Mind you, I don't use much glitter, I must admit. Not unless I'm asked by the magazines, I rarely use glitter. But then that's why we're all different. We all like different things. I love these colours, Christine. Really love them. They're like jewel-like colours, aren't they? But when you look at your flower that we created here, the colours in the background coordinate really well with the colours we've got in the flower. So we've got a nice background there. So just making sure that's dry. Who loves glitter? Isabel loves glitter. That's why we're all different. We like glitter. Some people like glitter, some don't. We all don't like the same thing. So what I've got here is, I've got my flower that I cut out, okay? So I've got my flower, which will go nicely with those colours. And I've also got my vase, which is from the same stamp set, which I need. So we've got the vase from the stained sand. I wonder if you can dye paper with it. Glitter tea dyed paper. You'd need something for, to make the glitter stick. So as you can see, I've got the vase and the flower so that my background is cohesive with the foreground. Okay, that's what we've got so far. Put tea through coffee filter to see what you get with the filter paper. May be able to use it. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a little bit of the vase in the background, just so I get a little bit of this text. So I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Try and find my black. That's it. I really love these colours, Belinda. The colours are so lovely. Really nice. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this text that's on the vase in the background just to lift it a little bit it'll only be a touch but I just want to add some in the background let's just move these out the way so I want to add this here like so okay just adding the vase post staff feeling well loved <laughs> So I'm now just ink, allowing this ink to rest because I've got really wet card here. And because I've got really wet card, I need to allow this ink to sit. So I'm allowing this ink to sit just to give it time to take. And the reason I'm stamping it is so that I've got some of that text in the background. There we go. And we've only got part of the vase because that's all we want because if you remember this is going there like that so i just wanted a bit of that text yes so that this will go like this so we've got we have it like that and what we're going to do is bring a bit of stenciling into the background where have we picked that up we've picked some alcohol ink up here i don't know where we've picked that up from oh i do we caught that we caught the um just bear with me a second let me just wipe my desk so what we're going to do is we're going to add i've got one i've made here earlier because we've got a blob of alcohol ink here in your pjs today tracy i am in my pjs i am in my pjs so now i'm going to stamp my vase again because we've, got al because we've got alcohol ink blending tools here, we've got it all in the way. So let me just stamp my vase again, away from the alcohol inks. So just ink the vase again. So I'm just stamping this onto my background, just so that I've got a bit of that text again. So try again, because we've got an ink blending tool in the way. We'll catch up later, it keeps freezing all the time. No problem, Jane. Unfortunately, that's technology for you sometimes. It happens. Bye, Jane. So, yes, I'm just inking that up just so I've got a bit of that text around the outside. Like so. There we go. Much better. So, we're going to add this to here. Like so. We're also going to add the flower. But what we need to do now is add a little bit of stenciling. 
So I'm going to use this stencil and I'm going to use the purple ink pad. And I'm going to ink the stencil with the purple. Just to reiterate those jewel-like colours. Because the jewel-like, we want to reiterate that colour in the background. So I'm just going to spritz the stencil with water and just place that stencil on the background and just dab that stencil just to bring out some of the purple that we've got in the flower that's why I'm adding the purple because we've got some of that purple in the flower I am waiting too who's still waiting oh thank you Paula so I'm just adding those like so just because it brings the purple from the flower and the vase so that it's you know it's all cohesive it makes it all work together so we're going to bring that like so bring some life to that flower what number stencil please ah I don't I haven't got the packaging to this stencil so I don't know the number because unfortunately this is well loved I haven't got the stencil number to this but if you go on the all and create website it's on there I don't think I've got the number on this one let me check bear with me I don't think I have I'm just looking for you just bear with me no I haven't got that because I haven't got the packaging anymore sorry about that but if you go to the all and create website you'll be able to find that stencil there Oh, I love using ink with my stencils. I always like using that, Sandra. It's just, it's so easy to do. And it just, because I'm using purple in the flower, on this background, there wasn't quite enough purple. So it makes everything cohesive then. It makes everything work together. Like so. That, you see, that's exactly what I want. Perfect. And I might just bring, whoops a touch of the blue with some background stamping before we stick it down. I'm making a card with the All and Create Coffee first stamp set. Oh yes, Sarah, I love the grumpy. I know he is grumpy, isn't he? So I'm just going to add some of the blue, the Mermaid Lagoon stamping to the background. And I'm using stamp set 304 just to add some stamping to the background, just to make it all cohesive just so that it looks like everything's been thought about that all the colors work together and I'll, and it's just an excuse because i like using this stamp anyway because it's just one of my favorite stamps at the moment so can you see that that blue brings out the blue in the flower as well so now i can think about sticking it down so we'll get our adhesive just bear with me a second We'll just get our adhesive. My tea ready now. Have to go. No problem, Jane. Enjoy your tea. So I'm just going to bend my vase a little bit just to give it some life. And I'm using ultra thick gel medium. And can you see the alcohol bleeds through the card because that's what alcohol inks do because of the card I'm using. So just add that to our vase you see and I like how we've got this little bit of text here it works perfectly but you know what we need don't you we need a touch of back of black background stamping I think this is my favorite of yours so far oh Joanne thank you so I'm just going to add a tiny tiny touch of black the reason being is I don't want that black just to float there I don't want it to float on its own with no black in the background. So I just want to add a touch of the black in the background. Only tiny touches, nothing too overpowering. Just so it looks like everything's been thought about. That's much better. So now I'll add my flower. So we'll add my flower. And again, I'm using ultra thick gel medium. You don't need too much, really. Me too, Jennifer. Well, Miss Jennifer's comment. I'm, I'm still waiting for my Tracy Evans one day special. I'm like a meerkat at the window when the poster gone. 
I think, and also some areas are different than others, aren't they? Some areas are getting quick post, some areas aren't. Some areas are only getting post once a week. So it's very difficult. And the postmen are, are trying to keep up with everything, bless them. So I hope you get it soon. Which stamp am I using for the background, Beth? I'm using this one, which is Heartfelt 304. I'll lift my card up so you can see it. My stamp's really well loved. But if you see, when I lift it up, can you see that you've got the, the blue here with touches of black, which brings out this black here. You've got the purple stenciling that brings out the purple there so that it all works perfectly. And really, we could do with a sentiment. So what I'll do is we'll add the sentiment and we'll add a sentiment to this from this stamp set, I think. Uh, yes. So we're using stamp sets, eclectic stems, wishing you happy everything. I like that. I like that sentiment, wishing you happy everything. So we'll just move this out the way. I love I love these colours, Maureen. Just a nice change, aren't they? The colours are a nice change. Just trying to think of different colours all the time. So wishing you happy everything. We are wishing happy everything. And there's still time to go outside as well. In the evening sun. You can still go out in the evening sun. I'm trying to find a piece of white card. That's why I'm leaning over. Piece of white card. Let's just move that out the way. I'm creating samples here everywhere, so I've not got much room. In which part of the world are you living? Is that me, Gabby, that you're mentioning? I'm from the UK, Cheshire, in the UK. I'm presuming Gabby was asking me. Hoping it arrives in the next few days. Me too, Tom. Me too. Oh, I'm gone. Nearly stamped that down there, and I decided I wanted it in the middle, just so I can have some space either side of the sentiment just decided at the last minute then so wishing you happy everything we need to block that so we'll just block that sentiment wishing you happy everything you're sitting in the sun are you medulla oh how lovely i can't watch out in the sun i end up losing the signal when i'm out in the sun so it's a bit of a pain for me drives me mad i'd love to watch in the sun so what I'm going to do now is cut the sentiment. We've got some glue on the end of there. So cut the sentiment a little bit longer. Chuck your extra card on the floor like I do. Just create that a bit longer. So have you all, have you all been creating? I've seen some wonderful samples from the weekend workshop. They are wonderful to see, they are. Absolutely fantastic samples. So I've got happy everything. And I'm now going to just reach for some cut and dry foam. So we can add a touch of purple to the sentiment. I'm working in an inch of space. Yes, the UK. We are, we're from the UK. But it's great how we can reach so many other people in so many different countries that's what i love i just think it's fantastic absolutely fantastic so what i'm doing is i'm now blending the purple over the edge of the card and then what i want to do is i want to add this over there like that so that it's slightly raised so i'll just need to reach my glue have been practicing my pouncing. Have you, Piggy Sue? And how's the pouncing coming along? Is it working? <laughs> Are you exercising those bingo wings? <laughs> so I'm now going to just place this like so. I'm now concentrating, can you tell? So I just want it slightly raised so, raised, so I'm holding that in place for a few seconds. Need my pink paint to arrive, as my other one is still all gloopy. Ooh, I don't like gloopy paint. My paints have been quite good. I've been able to use them all before actually having to buy another one because I haven't used them or something. They've been great. 
So what I'm going to do then, just to lift the flower a little bit more, is, where's my, add some white dots to the centre of your flower, just to lift it a little bit. And it'll still be moving because I've obviously got that gel medium underneath. So adding touches of white. And then we want to add some white splatters as well. Not too many because you don't want it to be too overpowering. Just a few delicate white splatters. And then if we get a piece of black card, can you put tissue paper stuck with water and glue through an emboss and get a good impression? Yes, Linda. As long as you've done your tissue and it's dried, you can put it through an embossing machine and emboss. And it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic when it's embossed. I'm working on an accordion but want to do some jelly paint. Oh, I love the jelly paint backgrounds, Belinda. But look at this on your black background. Those dual light colours. And if you want to change this one up, so we've created... Someone said on Facebook about lumpy paint to use pouring acrylic. Oh, right. Interesting. So can you see? These are how you can use your backgrounds. These are all your flowers on your black backgrounds. But what you need to remember is have a practice with some silver embossing powder or something. Can you bring paint back to life by adding a bit of matte acrylic medium if you have? that and leave for a little while oh there you go sarah's just mentioned so this on a black mat looks lovely just on a black mat you could add a touch of purple ink around the edges if i've got a blending tool whoops if we just add if i get another bit of cut and dry foam if i've got a piece of this blending tool will do if you've just got on this one, I'd add a little touch of the purple just around the edges of the card, just to bring that purple to the edge of the card as well. Just a nice blending of the purple. You see, I love this technique because you wouldn't think that that was alcohol inks, would you, on that, on that flower? Not sure. I've tried adding water and mixing, but it's a weird consistency. Oh, but when you look at this flower... You, you don't think alcohol inks, do you? You think you've used something else. It doesn't look like the alcohol inks to, at all. It looks like you've used a different medium than alcohol inks. And that's what I like because it doesn't look... Nobody would expect that that was alcohol inks. And it doesn't look like alcohol pens either. So it looks a bit different. So there's your two flowers. How long were we on? Oh, we did it in an hour. So there you go, there's your card using alcohol inks and using your stencil, your stencil you can get two different looks as well, one taking it back to the white and one without taking it back to the white. So if you try that technique I'd love you to share it with me. It looks a bit different doesn't it Lee? I was waiting and, can't, and couldn't find you, oh no sorry Eugenie. But you can watch it on Rewind. So I'm loving that look. And the fact that this looks nothing like alcohol ink. And if you look at all them layers in the background on that flower. With this stamp and the stencil. I love how the text goes through the stencil on those circles. It just works so well. I'm so chuffed with that. And all it is is three alcohol ink colours. But if you experiment... Something else to try. Exactly, Karen. Every day's a school day. <laughs> exactly, Karen. Every day's a school day. So it's just something a bit different for you to try. But if you try silver embossing powder, show me what you think of it. Because I've tried it with a silver embossing powder, but I can't find the sample. And it looks beautiful with silver. And if you've got those mixatives, just remember, go lightly with the mixatives. And have a little play. And share with me. I'd love to see. So I hope you enjoyed that. A nice quick live. But still a professional result. You're going to watch this again later Maureen. You know? Oh brilliant. I've, I loved that. I really love that technique. I'm so chuffed with that. And if you add your Posca pens. To the centre of the flower. Like I've done. 
the Posca pens bring it a bit more to life. But even the vase, the vase looks fab. Just love it. I'm so chuffed with it. I really am chuffed with it. I'm so pleased with that. I'm trying to get my camera to be where I want it to be. And, it, you know, I have got... That's better. Just love that. That touches a purple there. Oh, I'm so sad. It's, small things make me happy. <laughs> Thanks, Belinda. Paper size. This paper size here that I've created is six and a half inches. Six and a half inches by nine. By nine. It's quite a big card, Belinda. I used a big card. Thanks, Roz. Thanks, Francoise. So, yes, I used a big card because I wanted to get all that detail on. To do something else with alcohol inks. Exactly, Chantelle. Not something that maybe everybody else is doing as well. And it gets you a whole different look. Just something totally different. I'm really pleased with that. And especially with the stencil. You know, if, if you get the stencil and try a different flower with it, that flower was done the same as the background in the card. So I did the flower the same as that background. So you could add a different flower to the background. Just so that you get two different looks. I just love them. Love them. Totally different. So have a good evening everybody. And I hope you share your makes with me. Uh, thank you for joining me. And I will be back on Thursday. Because tomorrow I'm making samples for her chander. So I've got to do some videos. Completely different to others you've done. Exactly, Jane, which is great. It's a totally different look and doesn't look like the other projects I've done, which just makes it a little bit more interesting for you. Oh, thank you, Janice. Thank you. Thank you, Mimi. So go and enjoy some of that evening sun and I will see you. Thanks, Beverly. And I will see you all on Thursday. See you Thursday. Bye, everybody. Bye.